This video tutorial will show you how to create and edit vector features using the Digitizer tool in Global Mapper version 15. Arguably the most powerful tool in Global Mapper, the Digitizer allows you to create, delete, edit, move, reconfigure, and copy points, lines, and area features on the map. The most frequently used Digitizer components can be accessed directly from the toolbar at the top of the map window. To begin this exercise, I'll load in a Global Mapper workspace file. Loaded on screen are four shape files, one depicting parcels for the city of Lewiston in central Maine. The other three represent sewer infrastructure with points and lines. Notice one of the shape files is toggled off and not represented on screen. The digitizer tool can be enabled from the toolbar or accessed through the tools menu. After enabling the digitizer, the position of the cursor changes to crosshairs with the word edit below. When used by itself, the digitizer is a selection tool. In this mode, points, lines, and area features can be selected in preparation for editing and moving. The left side of the toolbar contains buttons for creating features. Create area features, create line features, and create point and text features. The right side of the toolbar becomes active depending on the type of data selected. These buttons are used to modify features. Using the digitizer tool in edit mode, features can be selected by simply left clicking on the map. Multiple features can be selected by clicking and holding to draw a box. You can also hold down the control key to select multiple features. Right clicking on the map brings up a menu of options, including the ability to edit selected features, move features, delete, combine and crop, and many other advanced and analysis functions. The escape key will unselect all selected features. Now let's move on to creating a new feature. We'll start by creating a new line feature by selecting the Create New Line button on the toolbar. I'll use the ruler on my mouse to zoom in on the map. Notice that the cursor changed to an arrow with crosshairs and the word line below it. The black dot currently in the middle of the crosshairs indicates where the line will start. When I move close to the point on screen, the black dot snaps to that point. Snapping can be enabled and disabled in the configuration dialog. Left click to start the line right-click to complete it. The Modify Feature Info box is displayed when a feature is completed. Global Mapper gives the user the unique ability to simply name the feature. Let's name this Sewer. Users then select the feature type. The feature type selection allows you to choose which Global Mapper classification to assign to the feature. Feature types maintain feature characteristics such as styling and attributes. You can also choose to create a new Global Mapper type with the Create New Type button. Feature types can be managed in the configuration dialog. This feature is Sewer. Next, select which layer you would like to add the feature to. We'll add this to the Sewer shapefile. You can also create new layers at this stage. The styling is automatically grabbed from the feature type, but the user can also customize the styling. Attributes can be added, edited, deleted, linked to a file such as an image or tax card, and timestamp the feature. Let's add an elevation. The pipe is underground, and for subsurface values, use the negative symbol. Let's say negative 2 meters. Then click OK. The elevation value has been added to the attribute list. Click OK to complete the feature. The changes can be saved in the workspace by pressing the Save button on the toolbar. To save the changes to the shapefile itself, the data must be exported. This concludes our introductory tutorial to the Digitizer tool. Please visit our website for more information about Global Mapper. Thanks for watching.